I think they're also a carrier for all kinds of biological and chemical warfare. So I don't think they're dropping them on us right now, but they seem to be preparing. I think that they're, they're getting people used to seeing these things, and they're getting the military used to doing it. So they're practicing. Yeah, I think most people have noticed chemtrails because it's not natural to have something crisscrossing in your sky and staying around for hours. And so they could combat global warming this way. So one of the things they're trying to do, apparently, is put metal uh, particles into the air. They fall down, you know. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But anyway, that's one of the reasons. A uh, chemtrail looks like a jet um, fume, but the, uh, the jet um, discharge only lasts for about 15 or 16 seconds, whereas the chemtrail lasts for hours. And, and you can also see it keeps getting wider and wider, and if you look at it closely, it's dripping things. Now, uh, from a former worker at the Oak Ridge nuclear plant, I found that uh, the approach of our government to chemtrails is twofold. One is they think if they put metals up there over, uh, you know, places where there were cities or groups of people, they could deflect the sun's rays back up again. The other is um, what they're calling uh, aerial pharmacopoeia. And they're using as their precedent the fact that uh, people started adding iodine to salt in order to prevent goiters in areas that were, had low salt. So they said this has a precedent. So there are all kinds of things going on with these chemtrails. I think they're outrageous. They don't belong in our sky. And they're uh, probably messing up things they don't even know about. And, and we don't need this kind of, you know, dosing the population with uh, unknown chemicals and messing up the body metabolism. So they can put chemicals into those chemtrails that come down on people and um, try to modify some of the bad effects of pollution. I think they're also a carrier for all kinds of biological and chemical warfare. So I don't think they're dropping them on us right now, but they seem to be preparing. I think that they're, they're getting people used to seeing these things, and they're getting the military used to doing it. So they're practicing, and they're probably practicing the things they consider relatively harmless, whether they really are. You know, we get fooled by a living system. Things that we think are harmless are not. And I, I find it very reckless to be putting things into the atmosphere without telling people, without knowing what they're going to do. And uh, it's, a, it's certainly an outrageous approach to global warming. They ought to be joining the Kyoto uh, Pact and uh, reducing the uh, harmful emissions, not adding more to the atmosphere. They, they totally deny it. They just say it's, uh, it's just the exhaust from a jet motor. They totally deny it. People have been trying to find out all over, uh, you know, what it is. I think there is uh, an organization now in uh, Phillipsburg in Pennsylvania. There's also a fairly large organization in Toronto. But I saw them over Paris. When, they, when you come in from overseas and you're up above the clouds, they're all crisscrossed like a checkerboard over Paris. Uh, it's over Geneva. It's, uh, you know, so I mean, I've seen this myself. I'm sure it's over other countries. It's, it's, in, it's in England. It's in uh, Belgium. So, you know, it's all over there.
they're doing this all over the earth. There has to be collusion, yes, because it's all over. I don't know. I mean, I don't know whether it's just Western Europe and and the U.S. or because I haven't been in Asia recently, and I so I don't know whether they have it there. I mean, this might be just shared among friends. So they have a really delicate balance to walk between keeping us relatively fearful, but not so fearful that we stop what we're doing and really examine how it is that they've been waging. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. And, uh, and that uh, we will in fact find um, uh, weapons or, or evidence of weapons programs that are, are conclusive. I don't think we'll discover anything myself. It appears that there were not weapons of mass destruction there. You said you knew where they were. I did not. We know where they are. They're in the area around uh, Tikrit and Baghdad and, and uh, east, west, south and north. Well, first of all, I, I have it lied. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it talking about lies and your, your right allegation that there was bulletproof evidence of ties between Al-Qaeda and Iraq. Was that a lie? Intelligence gathered by this and other governments leaves no doubt that the Iraqi regime continues to possess and conceal some of the most lethal weapons ever devised. The, our people are going to find out the truth and the truth will say that this intelligence is good intelligence, no doubt in my mind. I don't know anybody that I can think of who has contended that the Iraqis had nuclear weapons. And we believe he has, in fact, reconstituted nuclear weapons. Saddam Hussein is determined to get his hands on a nuclear bomb. We cannot wait for the final proof. He's got him. He's got him. The smoking gun. He's got him. It could come in the form of a mushroom cloud. Colin Powell didn't lie. My colleagues, every statement I make today is backed up by sources, solid sources. These are not assertions. What we're giving you are facts and conclusions based on solid intelligence. He has not developed any significant capability with respect to weapons of mass destruction. He is unable to project conventional power against his neighbors. Our people are going to find out the truth. I have not suggested there's a connection between Iraq and the 9-11. You have said in the past that it was, quote, pretty well confirmed. No, I never said that. Okay. I, I never think said that, that is... No, it's absolutely not. What I said was, uh, it's been pretty well confirmed, that he did go to Prague and he did meet with um, a senior official of the Iraqi intelligence service. Saddam Hussein aids and protects terrorists, including members of Al-Qaeda. 
secretly and without fingerprints, he could provide one of his hidden weapons to terrorists or help them develop their own. What did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing! He said there were three main reasons for going to war in Iraq. Weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein has gone to elaborate lengths, spent enormous sums, taken great risks to build and keep weapons of mass destruction. The claim that Iraq was sponsoring terrorists would have attacked us on 9-11. Before September the 11th, many in the world believed that Saddam Hussein could be contained. And that Iraq had purchased nuclear materials from Niger. The regime is seeking a nuclear bomb. Now, all three of those turned out, turned out to be false. Uh, first, uh, just if I might correct a misperception, I, I don't think we ever said, at least I know I didn't say, that there was a direct connection between September the 11th and, 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 and Saddam Hussein. Who does the president think he's effing kidding? Um, of course, it was information that was mistaken. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> Nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> Maybe under here. When you have a precedent set like that, and you have somebody, George Tennant, acknowledging in his book that he knew that the administration was deceiving the American people into a situation that is murdering young men and women from this country and others. That George Tennant and Dick Cheney and Condoleezza Rice and George Bush et al. should be in fucking jail. I'm tired of hell, but I'm not gonna break this anymore! You've got to figure out what to do with uh, all of the uh, debris. How about you? You made money off the go floor! And now you're going to vote for your fascist son! All lies! War lies! Still lies! Stop the lies! Stop the lies! It is important. To make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure, then in the name of democracy, let us use that power, let us all unite! <laughs>